Hello brothers, sisters and heart dweller family. My name is Caroline. I live in Kenya with my husband and we are by the grace of the Lord Swahili translators of Heart dweller Africa Ministry and priests and intercessors of the Lord under our dear mother Elisha. Last Thursday morning while on my knees at the altar preparing myself for the Lord's Supper in the presence of the unconsecrated bread and wine, I asked the Lord in my heart, why is it that priests in heart dwellers take your body and blood daily, but they are still under intense affliction, torment and oppression? The presence of the Lord was very intense even before I began the Mass. As I invited Blessed Mother, the angels and the cloud of witnesses, I entered into the spirit and prayed for a few minutes. After praying in the spirit, I began the mass and during the liturgy of the Eucharist, when I spoke the words in the same way, he took the chalice, blessed it and said, take this all of you and drink from it. This is my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, it will be shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this in memory of me. Immediately I spoke these words, my spirit was opened to a new dimension. The word covenant echoed in my spirit. I started speaking in myself in the spirit that covenants are made at the altars. If covenants are made at, the, at an altar, there has to be a spiritual place for the altar. Then the covenant is made and sealed with the blood. I said, my body is the temple of the Lord, the spiritual place. I proceeded with the mass constantly entering in and out of the spirit. When I raised the body of Jesus, I told the Lord, this is your body, may it be an altar in me and others. When I raised the chalice, I told the Lord, may it be the blood that seals that eternal covenant in me and his people. I saw myself in spirit holding the chalice and sealing people with a drop of the blood of Jesus on them. Some were part of the family of the Hatrela Africa. During intercession in the middle of mass, we were praying with my husband, pleading for the Lord's people to be delivered from the bonds of witchcraft, curses, bloodline rebellion. I asked the Lord, if your blood is an eternal covenant, why is it not enduring and effective in his people? The Lord responded, because people are harboring in their hearts bitterness and pain. These are altars. Then I was shown a soul who was rejected by a parent in his childhood. This rejection has caused hurt and bitterness in his life. These are spirits and throughout his life, wherever he goes, he suffers rejection. This hurts and wounds him more and feeds the spirit of bitterness in him. So there is an altar of bitterness in him that has bound him, hindering the Holy Spirit. Jesus continues, Everyone now must let go of all pain and bitterness in their hearts that you have harbored some since childhood and forgive and let go all bitterness, pain and unforgiveness. Bitterness and pain has become altars in your lives and hinders the work of my blood covenant and of my spirit. Many firstborns have suffered every sort of hurt, especially rejection, causing bitterness. My people, how I long to work and move in your lives, yet you have pain in your hearts. Forgive and let go. 
this spirit of pain and bitterness camouflages in the depths of your heart and it is triggered when something happens to you that is similar to incidents that caused you hurt in the past. You could be involved in something good, then suddenly you resent it without any proper reason. My people, I cannot work in your lives with altars of pain, bitterness and unforgiveness in your hearts. Let go all bitterness, pain and forgive and lay it at my feet. I want to start healing you. I love you my children. I love you so much. You who are my brides, but you have been carrying burdens of bitterness and pain in you. Bring them to me. Bitterness is a poison that even harms your health. Bitterness camouflages in you. Some of you don't even know you are carrying altars of bitterness in you. Symptoms of it are anger, resentment. You overreact with situations, even small incidents cause you to explode with anger. The enemy ensures this keeps on repeating itself in you. You hate and resent without any reason. It makes you never to be content with anything. It is because of the camouflaged bitterness. That spirit of bitterness causes you to seek for what you don't know or see. You are always pursuing but never finding, leaving you constantly empty and dissatisfied. You are bound by unbelief and doubt even when praying to me because of bitterness. Your prayers become ineffective. Bitterness is like a stubborn wound that refuses to heal. I asked the Lord, why is it despite our regular partaking of his body and blood, why are we not getting healed and delivered? Jesus answered, it is my grace and love that has been sustaining you, my brides. If you have a covenant of bitterness in you, my blood and body cannot heal you until you renounce covenants of unforgiveness and bitterness. It hinders my grace to work fully in you. Many of you have made agreements with bitterness as you continue feeling, feeding it with unforgiveness it becomes a stronghold of bitterness. This spirit operates in camouflage and makes sure you don't receive grace. It brings hardship in your life. You are running in cycles and never seem to move forward with anything. It becomes a cycle of hurt, pain, and forgiveness bitterness with frustration. I want to set my people free from this prison of bitterness. Bring all your pain and bitterness to me. Everyone should search their hearts and lives and let go of all the pain caused by superiors, spiritual leaders, parents, spouses, family, abusers, hardship and others. Jesus concluded by giving me the following prayer to be used for deliverance from the bondage of bitterness. Lord, I bring every pain caused by mention all individuals situations. I forgive and release every covenant of bitterness which I entered into agreement with. I break it today and cut ties with it. I enter into eternal covenant of the blood of Jesus Christ to sanctify and set me free. I invoke the blood of Jesus over my life, my spirit, my soul, my heart, and I cover myself with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
that was the end of Jesus message as an aside dear family the Lord has revealed many times not all suffering is demonic attack or oppression as brides of Christ and especially priests we carry crosses on behalf of Christ the Bible clearly states in Philippians chapter 1 verse 29 for it has been granted to you on behalf of Christ, not only in belief in him, but also to suffer for him. Also through many messages of the Lord through Mother Elisha, the Lord has informed us that we as his bride must carry crosses for his intention on souls on earth. Therefore, every soul must use discernment when dealing with suffering. But whether it's an oppression or a cross, we need the grace of the Lord. Be blessed. Well, thank you, family, again for your support and donations towards us to make all that the Lord wills possible. We are very low on donations because we had to make big purchases for the city of God to help us to start farming when we come back. Janavi and Pastor Joseph in India are much needed of donations for our mission trip to support and help buy clothes, food, hotel stay for pastors, groceries to help poor families, they need about $3,400. And please don't forget to support the medical outreach we're raising for the street boys. We will only receive two donations, which have come up to $50. Please remember us. Remember these needs. You can donate via PayPal or GoFundMe link below. God bless you, family, to the next message.